And there was a group in um, Blue Lake who wanted to talk about the Annie and Mary Trail, and I had a workshop there. And a high school kid from Eureka rode his bike to Blue Lake to go to that meeting. And he said, I have a trail for you that I want to show you um, in my town, Eureka. I have a vision. talk about trails, people would say, well, what do we need trails for? They've got sidewalks already. And they said, multi-use trails are never going to happen. I don't know why you're spending any time or energy on this. Councils change, and councils have different priorities. And, and keeping the trail as, as a priority for the council and not having them become distracted. And at the time, none of the local governments had really strong champions. You know, laid great groundwork for now, in the last few years, Miles Slattery, who's, who was that champion that came into the city. You know, the political climate and those type of things were ever anything that I considered back then, nor do I consider now. The state actually overlooked the project. The, the folks that were advancing the, the rail uh, activities saw the trails people as adversaries. When the trail got taken away from uh, our purview, to me, seemed to be punishing competence. And on the Hikshari Trail, we had one particular landowner who didn't want to play in the same sandbox. That was dubbed the Devil's Playground because of the small group of homeless that were associated with that area that were basically a lawless community. Crimes continued to, to escalate. Uh, there were stabbings, there were assaults, uh, there were rampant theft from nearby businesses and retail locations, uh, open market drug sales, prostitution. Gunshot, fighting, dog fight, pee and poop everywhere. You know, it was sketchy. There were some challenges with the boardwalk section. I was actually kind of pissed off. Move the f***ing pipe! We've worked our way out of a job. And is wielding a machete. We had gotten information that there was going to be almost like a Ruby Ridge event take place. I came in here one day, even before the ribbon cutting, and I had a group of about 30 kids was going, were going by on bicycles, multiple families, and just seeing the community use it and stop and read the interpretive signs and go, wow. And just, you know, the excitement of embracing this as an amenity for, for the community is just, uh, is just its own gift. I think this trail transforms our community, not just Eureka, but all of Humboldt County. The people that I meet come from all over the world, from Germany, from Croatia, from China, from Italy, from Colombia, Mexico, Brazil, anywhere that you can name, people come here to Eureka, it's a destination. It took decades, it took a village, and the city's done it, and it's a gem.